Ah, Politicon. Ah, the liberals. <laughs> they took over. I told you it was pay for play. I told you so. MSNBC and the Washington Post are running the board. I told you. I told you it was a trap. I told you, fucking liberals, it was a trap. That. So here's the evidence, right? So this guy is brilliant. I love Will Johnson. Will fucking Johnson, man. Will Johnson, thank you so much for your uh, for for sharing your experience at Politicon. You guys are gonna love this. I got the video of. Will Johnson and his team getting kicked out of Politicon for asking a question. Will Johnson, unite America first. I just want to make sure I got his, give him credit for this. Because this, this is really good stuff. This is, this is the loony left. The, it's not even the loony left anymore. This is what, this is what is called pay for play. This is where the oligarchy is is in control. See, whenever whenever they put the money up, then you got to do what the fuck they tell you to do, right? It's 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 uh it's a t it's tyranny of sorts. It's corporate tyranny, right? So that's what's on display here, right? This is not discrimination. This is not This is this is a violation of of what you're going to see is a violation of Will Johnson's first amendment right. His right to free speech is it doesn't apply because you're on their, they, that's what they say. You're on their property. You paid 400 bucks to come to this convention. And now you gotta, you gotta do what we tell you to, to do. Yesterday I read the, uh, the code of conduct. You can't say this. You can't say that. You're not allowed to, 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 uh, you're not allowed to engage anybody. You're just allowed to be, you have to agree with their opinion or you get the hell out. I'm just going to make it, I'm going to make it extra loud. <laughs> So there's, so there's no question about it. Yeah. So you know how we just talked about not doing that to people? Doing what? You went right up to Michael's face. No, I was holding the microphone. You, you, you so what about... So close. That let me ask, how you should talk to people. Let me, yeah. let me ask you a question. So you know how we just talked about not doing that to people? Doing what? You went right up to Michael's face. No, I was holding the microphone. You, you, you so what about... So close. That let me ask, how you should talk to people. Let me interview one. Let me ask you a question. Are we not allowed to talk to people here? He was willing to talk to us. No, no, when, when he, when, no, I was, I was standing there. They were pulling him away. They were pulling him away. So what you, what you just saw is Will, uh, Will Johnson. He's, he got approached by, you know, in classic elitist liberal form. Somebody walks over to him, somebody with a walkie-talkie, a very important person walks over to him and says, you put your microphone in Michael's face. How Don't you know how to interview people? Right. So who's he talking, who are they talking about? They're talking about the jack-off Michael Avanati, Michael Avanati, the porn star, the, the porn star's lawyer, Stormy Daniels' porn star lawyer, right? right? Is a speaker at the event. The fucking guy represents a porn star who fabricated a story about the president, right? About his penis mushroom shape, shaped dick, right? This is who the, the person is. They'll do it. It's this fucking smear job, right? But here's the guy, Avenatti, right? 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 That's who they're talking about, right? And the woman is insinuating that, that Will Johnson, while interviewing Michael Avani, you're gonna, we're going to play it, Avenatti, stuck his microphone in the guy's face offensively right that's the that's the allegation here you're going to see where this leads so they get dragged out of the place but right so that's that's the allegation right and we have the footage of what actually happened right they did a great job I, him and his team did a great job at this i don't think they planned it this way but certainly they got it so let's watch um let's watch you you've now seen the allegation the allegation is that these guys are aggressively pursuing people in the room, right? That's the allegation. And, and Mr. Johnson stuck his microphone in Mr. Avenatti's face. That's the allegation. Now, let's see what actually happened. How's it going? How's it going? How's, how's it feel to be a mob boss? I don't know. See, I even laughed about it. He laughed about it. I call him a mob boss. I mean, no one was fighting. He was laughing. I was laughing. No, we were getting along. My whole point is, is that we're here 
at Politicon thinking that we can have our difference of beliefs and opinions and we're not on the street and have to worry about Antifa attacking us. And this is what we get. Now watch. You see where my microphone is, right? Now she said I went straight up to him and put my microphone in his face. He's smiling. Look. He's smiling. My microphone is down here where it is where everybody else on the planet when they're interviewing somebody. They deliberately kicked us out because they did not like what we were talking about. Right? Well, I'm you have to admit, that's pretty good, though, right? You are the Red Wave MVP. You have done more yes. than the Red Wave. Yeah, you know what? That's actually, 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 that's My cameraman had his, it's had the camera down for a second. No, 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 I'm not. You are. Actually. It's funny because the right is so threatened by me. No, we're not. No, because, no, we appreciate it. You're a healthy We appreciate it. Let him finish, let him finish. All right, because I'm going to take... Again, you see my microphone? Where's my microphone? My microphone's not in his face. My microphone is so that everyone can hear the audio, so the microphone can pick it up. It's not in his face. She's, she's, she totally lied in his own camera, and here it is. Now, listen. Hey, something. Yes, sir. If I run against your president in 2020, I'm going to kick his ass. I would love it. I'm I'd love to see it. Gonna gonna have to have to see this, this, this is going to be red 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 and fraud. using a prostitute is too. And see, as soon as Ben Burkham says that, Michael Avenatti gets triggered. As the MVP, as the sorry, who's, who's, who's the sir, prostitute? And how does he get paid for sex? How does it feel to be a mob boss? Tommy Daniels. Did she get, she didn't get paid for sex. Yes, she did. How does it feel to be a mob boss? No, that's not true. Yes, it is. How does it feel to be a mob boss? And then you help. 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 You See the, the the essence of what what just happened, right? And and uh, Will Johnson tells it in his own words. But but they didn't like what he, what he was saying. They didn't like what his team was saying. That's the violation here, right? That is the the obvious takeaway. Now you see Avenatti come up to them, and he's using the forward type of aggressive body language his arms are reaching out his there's a guy some arm holding him back from the interviewers right that's what you see on display avenatti the speaker the speaker that these guys paid to come and and hear speak is now in the interview area and he avenatti comes over to them right and with his aggressive hand gestures reaching out with a with a guy with a walkie-talkie holding him back, and they say some select words. It doesn't matter. The speech is irrelevant. He calls him a mob boss. He says, you know, that doesn't matter. How's it feel to be, a, you know, a, representing a prostitute? All fair game. All free speech, right? Right? Did anybody... Nowhere do you see that. The, 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 see, again, the allegation is that Will stuck a mic in Mike's face. Didn't happen. There's no evidence of that. It's a lie, right? Video evidence, actual evidence. This is the evidence that you lean on, Will. That you have the evidence that what the woman said when they approached you and told you, you got to get, you, you know, you, you can't do that. Well, she didn't say get out yet, but that's coming, right? But she's, she's, she's approaching you with a lie, right? Because it's pay for play. It's pay for play. Don't think that this is you. You were duped into thinking that this was a political rally. And in in the final analysis, they're going to say that you're supposed to read the code of conduct before you come in, right? So if you, I mean, the 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 legal way out of this is just cancel. If you pay through a credit card, just cancel it and fight it, and they'll let it go. <laughs> they're not going to fight you for this. Right? But don't. I or I mean, you sue them on based if you have the testicles, sue them on a violation of your First Amendment rights because the code of conduct, that actual code of conduct, is a violation of the First Amendment. Now, I know people think, oh, they, you know, it, it, the First Amendment doesn't apply. It only applies to government. It, no, it applies to you. It's for you. It's for your protection. So, so now we're going to see it. It's going to start to, um, it's going to start to get heavy. So this is where you're going to see I mean, it gets ugly now. Now the now they start to call in the police. Oh, there's one other piece. Let's watch this lady. Now this lady is 
is is classic liberal liberal um, uh, victim victimization on display. Right here's another woman that walks over to Will, and she's an older woman, and she walks over to him and asks him a question, approaches him and asks him a question, and then accuses him of being aggressive and loud. Right? See, this is the this is the psychotic. If you don't agree with us, you're aggressive, you're racist, you're you're misogynist, you're sexist, you're you're a bigot, you're you're foul, you're aggressive, you're dangerous, you want to harm me. See, that's the psychosis that's going on right now. That's the psychosis. And it, it tells I'm telling you, the same people that railed against this in 2016, they're now all panel members allowing this to happen. Mr. G I'm not even going to say the name. But you, you guys are supposed to be outside defending the public opinion, not sitting on your ass inside eating their shrimp and, and, and drinking their cocktails and sitting. They, they fucked you. Don't you see it? Don't you see it that they, that they lure you in with the money? Oh, look how important I am. Look, my mother sees me with a fucking suit on. Oh, I'm so important. I'm sitting on the same bench as the MSNBC cocksuckers, right? Now I'm a real cocksucker. I'm officially a member of co Team Cocksucker. That's how you see yourself. Right? And that's, what, that's the dupe. That's, where, that's what I was trying to say yesterday in the, in the previous video, is that you guys got duped into, into, um, into their circle, MSNBC, Washington Post. They own you now. You're compromised. You're in that situation. They put you who has an actual voice and the shit sandwich together and they compare the two. And now you're a fucking shit sandwich. So let's watch Will get dragged out. Well, let's watch the, we're going to watch the woman first and then, and then we're going to watch, we're going to watch Will get dragged out. But watch the woman's liberal uh, victimization. This is, this is powerful. And then it leads into Will getting dragged out. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Did you engage me? Yes yeah, or no? But, but well, I'm see, not you're, getting aggressive. You're getting I'm aggressive. I'm not, no, but me. what I'm saying is you engaged me. I want to ask I you did not engage you. But you. now you are sort of shouting. But I didn't engage you. You engaged know, me. I'm I not. I have a, a civilized conversation I'm, with you. But, but you, but clearly that's okay, not possible. let me, let me finish talking. You engaged me. I did not walk up to you. She's, she's, she's accusing him of being aggressive, right? And now you see the police forming around him. They're ready to bounce him out for something, right? For something, right? For, for, for sticking a microphone in the guy's face, which didn't happen, right? right? This is a violation. This is our country. This is, this is a fucking a tragedy of free speech. Tragedy of free speech on display. Where some old lady walks up to him and says, you're aggressive with me. You're raising your voice with me. She's raising her voice. She approached him and raised her voice and then walks away peacefully. While the police are ready to bounce Will out. And here it comes. I mean, what is the issue? So I guess it's, it looks like at Politicon, you can only go, if you're conservative, to conservative areas. And it's a liberal. You guys gotta cut it out. You guys gotta go. Come on, go. But who? So what's the problem? I know, but who is asking who to leave? Can, but they're asking who to leave. You guys. They're the boss. They run the place. You guys gotta go. But what have we done wrong? Can you at least tell us what we've done wrong? Asked me and our, our team, the security, to escort yeah, but you guys. What you're doing is you're sweeping people in the your whole group point. That I was over there. The, so the beauty, so the beauty of Polygon is that you were part of the group over there that they have named. Who, oh, they named so you? you're pointing MSNBC. Name? So it's MSNBC. No, no. you because you just pointed no. over there. So, so what, what was MSNBC Politicon themselves? But what did we do this wrong? Doesn't, this doesn't make any sense, You'll man. You'll have to take that with Politicon. This what? Doesn't well, you're Politicon. They've asked me to escort you guys off property. So well, who's Politicon then? This is their show. Okay. Okay. Where, where, where so can we who? go talk to them at? Can they say who? Politicon themselves. I know, but, who, I know, but how, how do you know my office? This way. You guys gotta go this well, way. Well, we need to, I need to talk to somebody. You guys gotta go this way. I need to talk to supervisor. Wait, somebody lay a hand. I need to, I need to talk to supervisor. The, here's the guy, here's the thing. Either you guys leave peacefully like I told this gentleman, or the police will escort can you Can we, can we, can I talk to a supervisor? See, in the heat of battle, the, the liberals, they slipped. Right, because Will is asking him over and over again, who gave the order? Who gave the order? Because it's important. Who gave the order to kick them out? Right, and and the guy pointed over to the MSNBC when fucking table. Right, that's where the order came from. I told you, it's the money. 
I told you yesterday that this was a fucking, this was fake. This is a fake convention, right? So he, so they reveal it, right? And you can't backpedal it because you see in the heat of the battle where they're asking who gave the order to kick us out. We're getting kicked out. Why? Who gave it? Who said so? Who, who said so? And it was because of the MSNBC table and this, this, this jack off Mike Avenatti, right? The porn star lawyer, right? The porn star lawyer goes back there and he didn't get his way and they want these guys out. And that's the essence of, that's the whole thing right here. That's the whole thing. It's, there's no discourse, right? They're getting escorted out because the money that's trying to promote a, a, a narrative, that's trying to sell the American people. See, we're all together. See, the, the, the online community and, and the mainstream media, there is no divide anymore. We're all together. We're all on the same page. Blue wave Democrats. We, oh, no, Hillary Clinton, voter fraud, election fraud, um, stuffing ballots, uh, rigged election machines, money laundering, primaries that don't count. No, we, we don't, we're, not, we're all on the same page now. We're all together. Russia did it. It's Russia. We're, we're trying to prevent Russia from interfering in our democracy. That's what's going on here. Okay, That's what we're trying to sell here. And if you're sitting inside at Politicon, Politicon game, Politicon job, right? Then you agree. You agree. Because you're inside trying to voice your opinion and join the enemy, join the mob. And the mob is outside throwing the real voices out the door. Right? So let's watch Will get kicked out. Well, let me talk to a supervisor so I can yeah. file a complaint because I'm being harassed do for, wrong, for doing nothing you wrong. wrong I didn't do anything wrong. You're kicking me out. Oh, I, didn't know, I didn't know he was, he was a part of that. Well, somebody got to get it together. What did I, please, yeah, I can, you please to to can you please call somebody now? Yeah. Please, sir. Can you tell me what I've done wrong? Sir, I swear. Right sir, a person like me. Moving. Start moving, sir. I haven't done anything start, wrong. Sir, start moving this way, please. I haven't done anything sir, wrong. Sir, start moving this way, please. Sir. Please tell me what I... I, I Step this way. I deserve the dignity of any other man in this country to be left alone, to be peacefully, have freedom of speech in this country. The Constitution, my First Amendment, applies to me because I'm an American citizen. For what reason? I haven't... Uh, uh, Please stop! Please stop! I mean, he's he's making a case for the First Amendment. He's telling you why the he's 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 on the soapbox talking about the First Amendment, and somebody tases him from behind. I mean, this is like a tragedy. This is this is a tragedy of justice, and nobody is. I, I mean, I I just I find it. I, I mean, it, it makes me it. It makes it, it. It's like a tearjerker to watch the guy get, to get. I ultimately, you know, inflicted with violence. Right? They tased him. Somebody zapped him from behind, knocked him on his ass. Right? While he's saying my First Amendment rights are violated. Right? Where's all the free speakers? Where's all the the free thinkers inside coming to his rescue? Where Where are you guys, man? You left that guy out there to get dragged outside. It's a sad day. It's a sad day when you see something like this. It's this is this is a tragedy of 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 justice and it has nothing to do with his opinion or his skin color or his his political affiliation. None of those things should matter in a in a in a vibrant democracy where where we we have a constitution, free speech. Nothing that he did violated anybody's sense of security other than their opinion. Right? And that's what's under siege right now. That is the, that is the essence of, of uh, Will Johnson's experience, in my experience. So I hope you enjoyed that. My name is Marcus Conti reporting.